Falana criticized federal government deliberate refusal to prosecute financiers of this terrorism going on in Nigeria. Despite all going on, they know the people, they are aware, and they don't want to do anything. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Thank you. Femi Fanala criticized federal government deliberate refusal to prosecute financiers of terrorism going on in Nigeria. Renowned, league, renowned son Femi Falana has slammed the federal government of Nigeria over his refusal to prosecute the sponsors of terrorism in the country. Falana made this via a statement issued on Friday in the aftermath of the devastation attack and terrorist attack on, uh, on the train heading to Kaduna from Abuja, which left scores dead and others adopted, others seriously injured. During the week, the United States of America designated a network of six individuals connected to Bokos in the country. The U.S. Department of Treasury Office of Foreign Affairs Control OFAC named Abdurrahman Abdu Musa Saliu Yusuf Ab uh, Adamu Basiru Aliu Yusuf Mohammed Ibrahim Isiak Ibrahim Aliu Hassan and Sergi Abubakar Mohammed. It stated that all six were found guilty of establishing a Boko call in the United Arab Emirates to raise funds for prov to provide materials, assistance to Boko insurgents in Nigeria to continue to worsen the situation. In a statement, Falana impaired the Nigerian government to direct Inspector General of Police, IGP, to prosecute the indicted terrorist suspect instead of lying to Nigerians of a, of a deceitful repentant Boko program. No doubt, the deliberate refusal to prosecute arrest sponsors of terrorists and terrorist suspects are continuing to exonerate these people, and it feels very much like the government is enjoying what is going on or part of it. However, as we join the people of Nigeria in con condemning this devastating, devastating attack on the Kaduna Abuja train, leading to the barbaric murder of several persons, we are compelled to call on President Muhammad Buhari to direct the Inspector General of Police to prosecute or indicted terrorist suspects in this country. Furthermore, we urge the President to order the investigation into the claim of the negligence that led to the terrorist attack. Falana has said, the Governor of Kaduna State said he had warned the train companies not to embark at night that there was intelligence report they were going to attack. The president have to investigate into this. These people are aware of what is going on, but allow Nigerians to suffer and die. He further cited various instances where the Attorney General of the Federation has refused to prosecute well-known terrorists and continue to commit crime against the country. Falana said Attorney General is covering them up. What exactly do Nigerian government want from the people? Sometimes in August 2019, a gang of 10 soldiers led by the army captain ambushed and killed three police officers who were arrested, alleged kidnapping suspect Balan Hassan in Taraba State. In cold blood of the police officers were designed and cover up in the involvement of soldiers in several killing illegal collection of hundreds of millions of naira as ransom by kidnappers who terrorized the people of Taraba State for over three years. The Attorney General deliberately failed to take legal actions and stop ongoing ones, which, if they, con they conclusively can handle, will end the reign of terror going on in the country. Now, by the way, I'll just bring it to you so you can understand what's going on in our country. Yes, the government of Nigeria, Buhari government, okay, they know those who are committing this atrocity. They know. They are aware. They know them. Okay, they are in the north. The governors are aware. The senators are aware. House of Rights members are aware. They are all aware. In fact, it was Erufai himself that used his own mouth to say that he warned the train company, but they did not listen, that they should not move at night, that there was this planned attack coming on. That's the governor of Kaduna State. So he's aware. Okay, he's aware. The Attorney General of the Federation is very much aware. The Attorney General of the Federation is one man who covers evil. Okay, he's very religious bias, ethnic bias and all that. But they go to the southeast and they destroy people in no small way. He has not prosecuted not one single person. 
Kaduna State Governor continued, I mean, every one of them. And that's why when you look at Nigeria today, it's not balanced. It's not balanced. All the service chiefs, every one of them, where are they from? So what do you think the interest will be? There is a religious bias already, you know, on their hearts and in their minds. There are different things already ongoing and going on. So you can understand why the country is the way it is. Okay? It was Castina State Governor, I mean, Niger State Governor, Zamfara State Governor. They all know what is going on. They've had one meeting or another with this group of people. In the East, who has had meeting with IPOB to understand what, they are, what is going on with them and why, you know, why they call for the breakup. Have anybody had any meeting with them? No. A young girl of 25 years of age is currently in police custody. They've taken her to, to all kinds of places saying that uh, she did this, she did that. Why? They said because her boyfriend is an IPOB member. And so this little girl has gone through what we call torture and horror. Okay? Torture and horror. But yes, Gumi will say things and he will get away with it. And you tell me that there is fairness and equality. What about Abakiari? How is that playing out? The Attorney General is trying very hard to fight on that. The Attorney General is fighting all he can, doing everything humanly speaking possible. If this matter has not blown out of proportion, he wants to get Abakari out of that very, you know, what Abakari has put himself in with his own hands. So then you come and tell me that there is equality, fairness and truth in Nigeria. I beg your pardon, please say something else. There is no such thing existing in the country. These people, they are all the same people. They know who these people are. Kaduna State Governor Erufai said that the military, he blames the military, that the military know who these people are. The military knows them very well. But the military is doing nothing. That was his own words, not mine. He said the military is practically doing nothing about what the current occurrence going on in the country. So the military has opportunity to bring this to an end. Go there, bomb them and destroy this whole thing and bring this whole thing to an end. But Buhari will not do it. He will lie to Nigerians that there's what we call repentant bandit program. There is no such thing. It's a mirage. It's just a figment of your imagination. Okay? There is no such thing like that. Buhari is just the one trying to use Nigerians' brain. Okay? He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. So don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. They know exactly what they are doing. They are the same people. The same people. The same Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.